name is Ainsley Malone. I'm a dietitian on a nutrition support team at an academic teaching hospital in Columbus, Ohio. And I work with um, ICU and non-ICU patients managing their enteral and parental nutrition. Well, I've been a dietitian for 29 years. I really enjoy it. It's very, it's very rewarding. I am fortunate to work with a number of clinicians, physicians, nurses, respiratory therapists, and I learn so much from them. And I hope that they learn much from me as well. Nutrition is important. Every aspect of care in the ICU is important, but nutrition is is as important, I feel, as any other area within um, ICU care because if a, an individual isn't adequately nourished, they're not going to have a good outcome. Um, they'll lose, their functional recovery will be impaired significantly and the earlier that we can initiate nutrition, we know that outcomes can be better. And then the role of pharmaconutrients is, a, is very much more now than an emerging um, aspect of care. 10 years ago, we were starting to see some of the benefits of pharmaconutrients, but now we, we have strong evidence that the use of some of those agents can really impact outcome. And to me, that's exciting. That's moving nutrition more than just food and providing support. It's moving it into the treatment arm. And that, to me, as a, as a dietitian, is very exciting. Achieving energy targets with the use of, of enteral and parenteral nutrition in combination would be something that I would advocate for ICU patients. Enteral nutrition is not always well tolerated, so combining it with the parenteral nutrition to achieve energy targets will, would be very important to improve outcome. Just more uh, emerging data, hopefully with the results of some strong trials, verifying the benefits of, of providing enteral and parenteral nutrition, and then the pharmaconutrients. There are several strong trials underway now for the use of supplemental pharmaconutrients in um, ICU patients and seeing those results will really help dictate our practice in the years ahead.